Hello. Do you know what time it is? Spear time. Hello and welcome to episode two of Hashtag Beer Time with me, T-Bone Troy. Okay, I'm gonna slow it down a bit because that was way too quick. Some of you have got back to me and said, Troy, your video was a little bit long in the beginning. Yes, I understand it was a bit long. It was my first episode, so I will take that into consideration when making more videos. In my defense though, I will say these things. One, it is an art form. Uh, beer tasting cannot be rushed. Secondly, it's my show. Thirdly, uh, TED Talks are 10, 15, 20, sometimes 30 minutes long. Did I just compare my videos to TED Talks? Yes, I did. Why? Because I'm trying to change the world. Let's get on with the show. Our second beer. Oh, fuck. Our... <laughs> first beer for today is from Devil's Peak Brewing Company. Uh, it's their lager. Uh, they released it with their pale ale. Let's have a look here. Thank you Devil's Peak for the glass. I did not steal it, I borrowed it. The back of the label says, serve between 6 to 9 degrees Celsius. Um, sounds about right. Um, anything colder and you're not going to pick up a lot of multi flavors. Uh, you're not going to pick up much. Super clean, super crisp. Um, I suppose that's just what a lager should be. I'm just trying to find those flavors. A lot of you asked why I was putting my hands around the glass. Uh, that's so that the beer does warm up. Um, as it warms up, it does release uh, more and more flavors and aromas. It's actually very easy to drink. I would say it's more malty than it is hoppy. Uh, very subtle tastes. Hop bitterness does come in at the end there, but there's definitely that subtle sweetness that comes in the beginning of the taste. It's a very well made beer. I'm a big fan of these guys. Devil's Peak Brewing Company. Top three brewing companies in Cape Town at the moment. Cape Town, South Africa. They're expanding at quite a rate. They're going to be a big player, uh, I think, globally in the next five to ten years. Watch out for them. They've got lots of big plans. I'm looking forward to trying some of their ales later on. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, hint, hint. Our second beer for today is from... Let's try that again. Beer number two for today is from one of my favorite. This is BrewDog's Nanny State. It's an alcohol-free beer. Even though it has 0.5% alcohol, it is considered alcohol-free. Don't ask me how you get around that. I don't make the rules. I just drink the beer. I'm starting off quite low just to work my way up they have some pretty strong beers we're using their jackhammer glass so the IPA glass actually is meant to release quite a lot of the, the hoppy aroma so I'm not expecting much uh, last time I had this there wasn't a lot of flavor wasn't a lot of malt aroma very little body almost watery uh, and that's what you kind of expect from an alcohol free beer Smells like a beer. It really does lack that body and maltiness, fullness, creaminess that you get. It's still a great tasting alcohol free beer. It's just not something that's that riveting or exciting. If you can make an alcohol free beer like this, then that's a win for you. Well done. Yes, well done, Brewdog. What Brewdog do well is that they experiment a lot, they play around. They try and make different beers. It's a well made beer. It's like I'm drunk when I'm talking. But I'm not. Okay, next beer. Our third beer for today. Yes, we're doing three beers. Lucky you and me. Is from my friends at Lakeside, a small craft brewery in Cape Town. Been around for about for almost four years now. And this is their Pell Ale. Beautiful clarity. So it's American, I'm expecting some piney, some more hops that come through, more so than any malt flavors or characteristics. Actually getting more melon and soft fruits coming through. 
It's definitely a hop aroma, but maybe not as strong as I expected it to be. It's a really easy drink in Pale Ale. Um, it is very cold at the moment. I'm going to see what happens when it warms up, but at the moment I'm getting a very easy drink in uh, almost creaminess from the malt. It's definitely a sessionable Pale Ale. That bitterness is starting to creep in now uh, towards the end, uh, especially as, as this beer warms up. That's a good beer. That's all for today's tasting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Uh, of course I did. Thank you to those of you who have already subscribed to my YouTube channel. Please, for the rest of you, go ahead and click. And if you'd like to follow me on other social media, you can follow me here. Tweet that photo, send it to me, hashtag beer time, hashtag Troy's Tuesdays. Thank you to my butts for filming. Until next time, happy drinking. See you next week on hashtag beer time. Cheers.